This is the Sagrada Familia, a Catholic cathedral that dominates the skyline of Barcelona. Although work started 125 years ago, it's still an enormous building site and far from finished. The architect, Antoni Gaudi, designed the building around mathematical shapes and relationships, but his original plans were destroyed, so it's a real maths challenge for those working on the project now. And the Sagrada Familia can be quite a maths challenge for you too. Pause the video and watch each clip as often as you like. One hundred and twenty-five years after the project began, a large team of architects is still working full-time at the Sagrada Familia. My name is Marta, and I work at the Sagrada Familia uh, as an architect. Uh, I've been here for um, seven years. So, how far have they got now? This is uh, 60 meters high from the ground floor. We, we are here, well, more or less. There are some towers, but the main building, it's over here. So this is going to be the higher part for the moment. My name is Jordi Bonet. Jordi is George in Catalan. I am architect, and I am the team leader for the continuation of the Sagrada Familia Temple. Gaudí built not only a church with one bell tower, they changed the project from one bell tower to 18. And now we have only built eight. Based on this information, how much longer do you think they'll take to finish the building? The cathedral is a massive building. The nave is 45 meters wide, 90 meters long, and 60 meters high. When it's finished, 45,000 people will be able to attend the service. The Sagrada Familia sits on a site that is 120 meters by 90 meters. The tallest tower of the Sagrada Familia will be the Jesus Tower, standing at 170 meters. So, how does this building compare in size with other famous large buildings? During the Civil War, Gaudí's uh, working place was burned, and most of his original plans and models were burned. But we still have some of the picture of his models, and also some pieces of the original models, and that allows us to reconstruct uh, his project. Per fer una columna, més o menys una setmana, 15 dies, i llavors és el procediment de fer molt ja això, que també cosa d'una setmana o així. In this building, the presence of model makers uh, is very important because both for the design and also for the construction, we use the plaster models. When we design something, we first build it in a scale 1 to 25. We have the whole building in this scale and we can see from there if it fits with the whole thing. And then also when it finally it's, we keep on with the construction, we build the same pieces a uh, scale one to one. And these pieces are used to make the molds that afterwards we'll, we will use to, to make the pieces. If this snail is seven centimeters long on the model, how long is it on the building? And if this word is four centimeters wide on the model, 
How wide would you estimate each letter is on the building? Here is the eight element column. This column is 14.8 uh, meters high and the diameter is uh, 1.4 meters. And it begins with two squares and it goes till it changes to a circle. This is a combination of two squares and two pentagons, and with a geometrical law, a circle. So how would you go about constructing a column with the cross section of a pentagon at one end and of a hexagon at the other? How would you work out how fast this lift might be travelling? This roof looks complicated, but its shape is generated from a circle and lots of straight lines. This shape is called a hyperboloid. This roof is at 45 met meters high, and the generation lines of the hyperboloid are straight. That allows us to use common materials even if the surfaces look complicated, in fact, to construct them, it's quite easy. So, you have a go at constructing the hyperboloid design of this ceiling. The Sagrada Familia is made up of many different architectural structures. To design these to Gaudi's geometrical rules, the architects first build all the elements using 3D modeling software. The computer gives to us this important help. For example, to cut the stone of these columns, it is possible to introduce to a computer the mathematic uh, equations of these surfaces. But the builders don't use 3D drawings. They need two-dimensional plans to know exactly where to build each section. There is a lot of work from the um, original drawing uh, to the drawings that we finally give to the workers. And this point here, it's the central one from where they, they, they took the dimensions to find all these points. Here they have the X and the Y in relation with this point, so then they are able to find all these points in, in a platform. So everything in this area is measured from this point. I show you in the conclusion. How do you think the builders can identify locations in the vertical plane? How would you work out the total height of this spiral staircase? And how long would it be if it were pulled out into a straight line?
What is the relationship between the numbers in this number square? Gaudi was a very intelligent man, and so he was sure that for him it was not possible to arrive to the end of his temple. And so he needed to employ different ways that his successors can build all the parts of the temple that he has in his head. of the building are uh, the principal nave, it's 45 meters wide and 90 meters long. What other simple proportions are often used in architecture and building? The Sagrada Familia uses geometry to create a unique building. How would you describe the following shapes? Mathematics for us are very important because uh, Gaudí used geometry and geometry is best in mathematics, so we use it every day. 